My name is Raven Sweeney, and today I will do my persuasive speech on why I believe college student athletes should get paid. I chose this topic because I am an athlete, and secondly, I didn't really know what I wanted to do my speech on, and I saw a lot of articles over this topic, so I decided that I would do this topic. Today I'm going to talk about scholarships, the daily routine of an athlete, and the financial award. Scholarships. First, you have to look at tuition when thinking about giving someone a scholarship. Um, for a public two-year college, it ranges from $3,000 to $5,000. A public in-state four-year ranges from like $9,000 to $11,000. A public out-of-state four-year college ranges from $22,000 to $30,000. And a private four-year college ranges from $30,000 to $35,000. A, a typical scholarship is worth as much as your coach is willing to give you. I know for NCAA Division One, the most they give is $25,000, and that is a full ride, which covers everything. You have three different divisions. You have Division One, Division Two, and Division Three. Your first two divisions, they are allowed to give out scholarships. Division Three, they are not. They are solely on academic scholarships. And then a typical scholarship usually covers tuition, food, books, and room and board. But like I said, it all depends on what your coach is willing to give you. If you get a partial scholarship, they might pay for tuition, your food, and your books. You might have to pay for room and board. Or you'll pay for room and board, your books, food, they might pay for your tuition. It all depends really on what they're willing to give you. Secondly, I'm talking about the daily routine of an athlete. Um, I'm just going to talk about me as an athlete because I don't really know about anybody else and what they do. But I'll tell you a little bit about what we do here at the lake for volleyball. Um, a typical practice schedule for in-season goes from Monday and Wednesday go from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Tuesday and Thursday is from 11 to 1.45 and Friday from 2 to 4 p.m. And usually on Mondays and Wednesdays we'll go 7 to 7.30 and get in a quick um, conditioning session. And then Tuesday and Thursdays we might do a quick weight room session either before or after practice. Um, we also have game schedules. Tuesdays and Thursdays we usually play at 7. The earliest we play is 6.30. And we'll also have games on Friday and Saturday as well. So we'll play a game on Friday at 7 o'clock and then we'll wipe back up um, on Saturday and play at 12 or 1. And on top of all the busy you know, practice and games and traveling, we still have schoolwork that we have to handle. Most freshmen usually take around 12 to 13 hours just because it's their first year in college. And then sophomore, juniors, and seniors usually range from 15 to 18 hours just so we can make sure we stay on top of our schoolwork and make sure we graduate on time. Lastly, I'm going to talk about the financial reward. According to Mark Edmund, why student athletes are employees, success in college sports improves the application rate and caliber of admitted students of certain universities. I definitely believe that student athletes bring in a lot of the student body to colleges. If you look at um, University of Texas, Baylor, A&M, Alabama, those are schools that have winning records and you see so many people applying to those schools, yes, because they have a good um, academic programs, but also because the student life there is amazing. You see so many fans out there cheering for their classmates and tailgating for the games. It's just crazy to see thousands and thousands of people there at the games. According to Lee Good Goldman, sports and antitrust should college students be paid to play. The NCAA tournament generates over $70 million in gross receipts. If you think about it, the NCAA, NAIA, and colleges make so much money off of us. The NCAA tournament just passed, and just to think about how much money they made is crazy. They make money off of you know selling jerseys um, that have our numbers on it, but don't have like our last names on it. They sell um, commercials. A lot of people that have their brands and their um, things they want to sell, they'll have their commercials during the NCAA tournament because they know so many people are watching the tournament, which means, you know, all eyes are on their brand, which makes people want to buy their stuff. And then also thousands, thousands, thousands of fans are coming to watch these players play. That's just making so much more money for the NCAA, and they're making all this money, but yet we can't seem to get any money back to us, which is crazy to me. Major head coaches earn $1.5 million on average, according to why college athletes should be paid by Julian Sonny. So they say that we're not major professional athletes. So why are our coaches getting paid like they're professional coaches? They're getting paid $1.5 million to coach a 
someone who's not professional but yet we are doing all the things that professional athletes are doing maybe not as vigorously but we're definitely doing what they're doing we're sacrificing our bodies we're going to school we're um this is like a job to us we're doing a lot of different things and for us to not see any money back is what is crazy to me because yes we're getting a great good group of money to pay for school and our rooms and our board and stuff like that but they don't know the struggle that some of these players have endured and most of these players that are big doing athletes they use their talent to get them out of you know the struggle that they're in and so while they're out of that struggle and they made it they still may not have money for food or to have clothes on their backs and that's why I think that the NCAA can at least help out a little bit just to make sure that you know those people who are struggling have money still because they don't know what's going on they have no idea all people see is the outcome of what us athletes do they don't see the struggles with you know we may not have food or they don't see the struggles during practices and the hard work that we put in day in and day out so this topic just really interested me a lot and I had a really good time researching it Today I talked to you about why I think college athletes should get paid. I hope you enjoyed my speech. Thank you very much.